Good morning, more elementary students and staff. Today is Friday, January 8th, 2021. Happy New Year and good morning, Ms. Fusi. Good morning, Mr. Qual. We're going to start with a New Year's joke. Why do you sprinkle sugar on your pillow on New Year's Eve? I don't know. To start the new year with sweet dreams. That's a perfect way to start the year. That's a perfect way. Thank you, Mr. (laughs) Qual. Social workers quote of the week. What the new year brings to you will depend a great deal on what you bring to the new year. Very important. Let's bring our A game to this new 2021, right? Absolutely. Congratulations to Mrs. Hambly, this week's certified staff member, Mustang Pride winner. Thanks for all that you do for our students and our school, Mrs. Hambly. Well deserved, Uh, Mrs. Hambly. Very well deserved. (laughs) Here for this week's episode of Special Encounters is Miss Beck. Hi, everyone. It's Mrs. Beck. We miss you all so much. The library is so empty without you and it's way too quiet. But guess what is not empty? The specialist page. Have you went to visit the specialist page to find all of us specialists? Well, if you haven't yet, you need to because there are so many fun links, websites, videos, lessons, and much more. Let me show you our virtual library. Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Beck again, and I'm here to show you the Mora Elementary Specialist page. This is the home page here, and I'm going to scroll down a little bit. At the bottom, you'll be able to see the FIED, Music, SEL, and Library tabs. But at the top in the right-hand corner up here um, are the drop-down menus, so you can find your grade level to go to FIED with a few extras. Um, music, same thing by grade level. And then the SEL tab is going to be Ms. Rasso's and Mrs. Kunke's classes. The last one is the library tab. I'm gonna click on that and I'll show you how you can find the resources and the virtual library here. You can go ahead and click on my Bitmoji to, it'll take you to the library resources or you can keep scrolling down and you can click in the virtual library. You can go to Destiny and Discover to search our library book collection You can watch a video on how to fill out the library book checkout form. In distance learning, you are able to have library books sent home to you. So go ahead and fill that checkout form out if you want um, library books sent home. If you are in younger grades, please make sure a parent or guardian helps you do that. If you keep scrolling, you're gonna find the library resources separated by grade level K through two is first, and then three through six, and you can um, click on those fun links to go to those websites. I'm gonna go back up and I'm gonna show you the virtual library here. Just take a second to load. My main page here is going to have some links that will take you directly to the slides. The first one is going to be the middle school book preview and um, other links. And then it's going to be the meet the authors for those grade levels. Then I have K through two elementary book previews and meet the authors page. Um, I have a I love to draw page for all of you students who Um, love to do illustrations. And then I have, um, lastly, a couple of Mrs. Beck's favorites like Epic and Wonderopolis. So if you click on the first slide here, it's going to show you the three through six books that you can um, click on and get a little short book preview. I also have the Morris High School Digital Library link and the Scholastic Kids along with Epic. Here are the authors that you can meet, Rena Telgemeier, Kazu Kabushi, Tui Sutherland, and Dave Pilkey. Next is the K through two virtual library where you get to click on a book on the shelf there and um, listen to a fun little book preview. I have Dr. Dr. Seuss's Seussville website along with Storyline Online. Next is the K through three or K through two, meet the authors page. This is Mo Willems, 
Karma Wilson, jo Jane Yolen, and Dr. Seuss. Then we have the I Love to Draw page where you get to learn to draw with Mo Willems, Jeff Kinney, Dave Pilkey, and then Ready, Set, Draw is just a variety of different um, illustrations that you can practice. I love Epic. So this is the slide where it will take you directly to Epic and you will need to log in as a guest um, using the library code AKZ5767 unless your classroom teacher has a code that they would like you to use. And then finally, I have Wonderopolis, which is one of my favorite websites where you get to ask and read answers about some very cool, fun questions. Lastly, it's just another review on how to check out a book using our online book request form. All right. Thank you. I hope you enjoy our specialist website. There's lots of fun things. I hope you go and explore. Hope to see you soon. Bye. There will be no school next Friday, January 15th, or uh, on Monday, January 18th. Those are going to be staff planning days for our return to school. Ms. Fusi, we're excited about that. Very excited. In-person classes will resume for grades K through 2 on Tuesday, January 19th, mm -hmm. and 3rd through 6th grade will be in hybrid at that time. So they'll yes. follow the A, B schedule like we have before. Uh, for students that are in grades 3 through 6, you're going to return to full-time learning scheduled on February 1st. Correct. Something to really look forward yeah, to. We're very excited and to it, see their smiley faces yeah. and have some energy back here at the, it's gonna, in the school hall. We need it. Mr. Qual and I are getting very lonely. Yes. So very. we're looking forward to your faces. An email was sent to families with our updated hybrid calendars. And it was included in this week's district updates as well. Please make note on Wednesdays that that is not an in-person learning day. That is a distance learning day. Teachers will give you more instruction. All this information can be found on the hybrid calendar. On shorter weeks, the Wednesday will be an in-person day. So please really follow that calendar. We can't encourage you to do enough of that. So essentially we almost always have four day weeks for mm -hmm. january february and march yes. some of those days are off on monday if they were previously scheduled some are off on a friday if it was mm -hmm. previously scheduled in a normal five day week those days are off on wednesdays correct so it's almost always four day weeks yes correct thank you um speaking of attendance at school here mm -hmm. and our homework we just want to stress the importance of continuing to stay up to speed with it throughout this distance learning. There is that return. We're excited about it, but we still need to continue to do our, our Google meetings, our homework assignments between now and January 19th. We have some awesome prizes mm -hmm. um, that teachers can put those students' names in that are attending regularly, that are turning in their homework on a regular basis, and there's Dairy Queen gift cards. Yeah. For for those drawings. Good, so. good time of the year to have a treat at the Dairy Queen, so keep working hard, students. And now, here is Tips by Tip with Playground Expectations. Welcome back, Mustangs, from break. It's me, Mr. Tip, host of your favorite show, Tips by Tip, and safety expert right here at Mora Elementary. We're continuing on with the Mustang rubric of awesomeness today with the playground section. As you can see behind me, we have our beautiful playground, but with the new safety protocols and protocols in place, it's not our only playground area. So these rules will apply for all those play playground areas that you guys play at and enjoy your recess time. Okay, so let's get started. First, we got be respectful. You gotta take turns out there on your playground and on the equipment and use kind language and good sportsmanship during your games like, like football or tag and follow the rules in adults direction. We're out here for your safety, so please listen. Next is be responsible. Help students who are being bullied. We don't want any bullying going on at our school. Line up when it's time to line up and return the equipment to the right spot. If you see Mr. Tip playing with a ball, I'll return it to the right spot. If I see so-and-so playing with a ball, I want you to return it to the right spot, okay? And lastly, we got be safe. 
use equipment the right way. You know, we don't want to be going down slides head first. We want to do it the right way. That goes for all the equipment. Stay in your allowed areas. That's a big one. And also play safely. Keep hands and feet to ourselves. And another thing that's not on our rubric, but I just want to brush up on is dress for the weather. Like, look at all this nice, fun snow out here. We don't want to be out here looking like it's summertime, okay? And if a little fun fact for you, Minnesota is the fourth coldest state to live in out of all 50. So dress for success out here. Dress for the weather, okay? If it's going to be cold, dress warm. If it's going to be hot, dress so you don't start sweating. And there you have it, Mustangs. Follow the Mustang Rubric of Awesomeness for playground safety, and you will be one step closer to being a safety expert, just like me, Mr. Tip, right here at Mora Elementary. It's a good reminder as we come back to school about playground um, expectations and um, really following the rules out there. We want you to enjoy more time outside, so make sure you really um, follow those expectations by tips by tips by tip. Make it a great day. Or not. The choice, choice is, is always, always yours. yours. Have a great weekend.